Okay, so um, taking a look at a carboxylic acid reacting with an amine. So the first thing that's going to happen is the carboxylic acid is going to be, of course, an acid. And the amines are actually really good bases, so they're electron rich. So the amine is going to deprotonate the carboxylic acid. That's always going to be the first step. This makes the carboxylate, the negatively charged, resonance stabilized, uh, carboxylic deprotonated carboxylic acid, and it makes the amine. Right, so essentially, it makes the salt, right? A plus charged nitrogen. Now, under normal conditions, this would be it. There's nothing else is going to happen. Um, but you can force this to react and to form this, the actual amide. And you also generate water. Now, I didn't ask you guys to know the mechanism for this, but you can imagine what it would be. You'd need another amine. So you're going to need an excess of amine, at least two equivalences, at least two of them. And essentially, right, when there's a lot of heat, and I'm talking like 300 degrees and maybe some pressure, you can make this, you can get this reaction to go. Because the problem is, why this doesn't go, this is, a, this is an okay nucleophile, right? But that carbon now is not very reactive. And why is that carbon not very reactive now? What? Well, it's, there's a, I mean, the resonance, right? This is, this whole, I mean, this whole area right here is electron rich now, right? There's a negative charge. We're asking this to be an electrophile when it has a negative charge. That's kind of weird, right? And because of the resonance, this carbon, right, is not as delta plus as you'd expect. But if you really, really force it, put a lot of, a lot of energy into the system, you can get this to go. And again, I, I didn't ask you guys to know this mechanism, but here it is just so you can at least see it. It actually looks similar to one you've done with the, uh, the lithium, alkyl lithium we did this, right? Where you got something like this maybe, but it wasn't, there's no plus charge. But you could do a, like you could do a bunch of proton transfers and eliminations and eventually get to here after following a couple steps. Like I said, I'm not asking you to know the mechanism, but this is what the idea behind this is. So essentially, to make this work, you need a lot of heat and a lot of energy. You should for sure know this first step, this acid-base reaction. That you should understand. How we got all the way to here, I'm not asking you to know just now. But you should know if these two things are around and there's a lot of energy and heat, you're going to make that amide.